What was supposed to be a regular shopping day for new sneakers turned into a life-changing one for a 19-year-old and his family. And it's not for the better. The young man was allegedly beaten by a police officer. Jamila Maitland reports. I said, oh, can you have a body and take it out on someone's child? And my, my exact word was to him, what if your child did come home looking like this? What would you do? A distraught mother recalling how she felt when she saw her son's bloody clothes. They were supposed to buy a new pair of sneakers. However, when he didn't show up at the agreed meeting spot at the Halfway Tree Transport Center, she left. She later found out that her son was inside the security post. By the time for telling my name, I take my man take out my ID for give him my ID for telling him for showing my name. He used the iron button with him off, with him flash out, and lit him on my foot with it once. If I lit him on my foot, he must swing it again for lit me, it lock up. When it lock up, he put it down on the table when I'm in the room. And when he put it down, a big thumping start to me in my face. But even after reporting the incident to the police, something was not right. I tell mum, I say, I don't feel right. Like, I when I talk, when it happens, I can feel like I hear the sound too. Like, the bone I rub against the bone, I hear it. So I tell mum, I say, I don't like how it feels. And so she tell me, say, yo, no, 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 do it until she see the x-ray. The x-ray showed that his jaw had been broken in three different places, his teeth realigned and his mouth unable to close. There is no, no way on this face of earth. A police are just, well, all the while me hear about it, but now it there my door, me understand, or me know where other people go through. Now, he's forced to be on a strict diet of soft food, liquid, and lots of medication. A painful surgery to rewire his jaw is what's keeping the family's hope alive. But if that doesn't work, he'll need to wear a permanent brace for the mouth, which costs half a million dollars. Now this is where the alleged incident took place at the security post at the Halfway Tree Transport Center. Now according to the transport authority that manages the facility, it said the alleged incident was not captured on the security cameras. But when we asked whether or not the cameras were working, we did not receive a response. TVJ News visited the transport center where vendors outside whispered about the incident. They told us that it's not unusual for officers stationed at the security post to use excessive force on students. And according to the officer in question, he was having a bad day. If somebody did come out and stop this from a long time, it wouldn't have reached my son. No, it reached my son, me, I go stop it from reach somebody else's son or somebody else's child. You can't have a bad day. If you have a bad day, you take time from work. You can't just come on road and a beat people child like that. Both the Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, and the Inspectorate and Professional Standards Oversight Bureau are probing the incident. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.